Hello everyone, welcome to Tangle with Tracy Ann. I'll be using two tangles in today's video and I'll be showing you how to present these tangles using different medium and different colours. The two tangles I'll be using today are Seven Flower by Shalini Rajish and Sonam Band by Simone Bischoff. I'm using an A5 watercolour pad. It's fairly inexpensive. It's quite thick, so I've scored this sheet of paper so that it folds more easily. And on another card that I'm making today, I've used this A4 black card sketch pad. And by folding each sheet in half, I can get two cards out of one sheet. We'll start with the white card and because it's so thick I might open it up to start tangling on. With this card I'm going to be using a black pigment liner. Now I'm using a Stedler but you could use a Micron 01. I may use this Uniball eye pen for colouring but it's not really necessary for this project because there's not much colouring involved. These are watercolour pencils and I'm going to be using a water brush with them. You of course can use a normal paintbrush and water. First of all I'm going to do two parallel lines for the stem. Don't worry too much if your lines go a bit wonky because I'm going to colour them with black ink afterwards. At the top I'm forming a bit of a heart shape and then two petals on either side and one steps up from the other one. Now I'm going to come to the level of the original heart shape petal and draw a wider petal on either side and again step up two petals on either side. And that's our basic flower. We can fill these larger sections with any kind of tangle, but I'm using a bit of a fescue shape. Before I draw my next flower, I'm going to have a little bit of think and draw where that flower is going to sit in the air before I actually draw it.
I'll demonstrate the next tangle on this sketch pad and as you can see I'm drawing sets of parallel lines. For this card I'm only going to draw three sets. Once we've done those I'm drawing a zigzag. On the next space I want to do the zigzag in the opposite direction so I've just put some dots so I know where the lines are going to fall and that way I can make it nice and even. The next step in this tangle is to form some semicircles looking like a setting sun or a rising sun and because the others are half sections I'll uh, draw them as if they would look if I was continuing the pattern. You can see now that I'm drawing these rays coming out from that sun shape and they're a little bit wider at the top that, than the bottom so that they fan out from that semicircle. I'll just fill them in very quickly, very rough just to show you how this tangle works. You can draw this tangle freehand and I did that on the black tile but in this case I'm showing you how I use a ruler and notice I've started this line or this set of parallel lines about half an inch out from the fold line and the space in between the parallel lines I'm also going to use about a half an inch space. Because I'm having to draw this pattern as if it's sitting behind all these flowers, if you're not confident, you can use a pencil like I'm demonstrating here. And that way, it doesn't get too confusing when you're trying to estimate where the pattern would sit behind those flowers. If you feel confident, go ahead and just draw it behind. Um, but I'll just show you this way in case you're having a little bit of trouble. I find this Mono Zero eraser made by Tombow very handy for getting in tiny little sections like on these petals. You could ink the whole thing and erase the pencil lines later, but once you start following the pencil lines, it's easy to just keep going and draw on your actual pattern, and that defeats the purpose of actually putting the, the pencil lines in there in the first place. You could continue drawing the rest of the pattern with pencil if you are finding it tricky, but I'm just going to estimate where that pattern would be. Just take your time. Whenever you get to a section that's got a flower, draw in the air where the pattern would be and that helps.
If you get to a tricky bit like that, just stop, draw it in the air, think about it, and then continue. I'm going to use my Uniball eye pen now to create some bold lines. Of course you could just keep the same pen you've been using. I'm not doing these bold lines everywhere. I want to keep those lovely fine lines in the fan and it makes it look a bit more interesting with that contrast of line size. I've decided to colour my stems in black. You could use a colour, but I don't want to introduce too many colours. I want just a contrast of black and white and red. And you can see by colouring these stems in, I can hide a few flaws if my lines are a little bit wonky. I've selected two shades of red watercolour pencils, this darker one and a nice bright red. Using the brighter red, I'm going to fill this whole flower and I'm not pressing too hard. I just want a nice even colour there. If you've only got one red pencil, you could use the same effect by just pressing harder in some areas and leaving it lighter in others. And that way you get more of a light and dark shadowy kind of feel to the, the flower. With the darker pencil, I'm putting some shading in areas that I would if I were using a graphite pencil to shade the flower, just where sections overlap. Now I'm going darker with that nice bright colour and you can see that I'm not going right to the edge because I want a bit of variation in shade. Then with my water brush, you, of course you can use a normal paintbrush with water, I'll squeeze a little bit of water out and I always start in the lighter areas and then bring it down into the darker areas. And that keeps those sections uh, nice and light. Here's another one I did using yellowy orange colours. Actually, I think I used four colours for this. Red, orange and two shades of yellow. And you can see I've added that little bit of a sparkle. I originally did it with a gold gel pen and it didn't look very good. So I decided I'd use my nice fine tech watercolour shimmery paints. And I chose this, this gold to match the flowers. And if I compare this with the black card that I did using gold gel pen, you can see the difference in the gold colours. To create the black card, I used a gold gel pen and I also used a white gel pen. In this case I used a number 10, but you could use an 8 I suppose. These Derwent pencils are reasonably cheap, so 
it wouldn't matter what brand you use I've got a red and a dark green and I also used a white charcoal pencil you can use a white pastel pencil but I find they give off a bit more dust and uh, that's why I chose to use my white charcoal pencil so I've drawn the flower just the same as we did before and you have to make sure that that is completely dry and I'm coming in now with the white charcoal pencil and I'm going to fill the whole area of the flower in I'm using the red color first and I'm not filling the whole area I'm just starting from the base of that flower and moving up the petals leaving the tips white and it's quite dark so I want to subdue that color a little bit by going back over it with the white charcoal pencil and if you find you get a little bit of dust happening just blow it off a little bit I'm going to blend these colors even further using a tortillon. Make sure it's completely clean. You don't want to put a dirty uh, graphite on this lovely pale flower. And you can see it's softening it up just a touch. If you find you get some smudges you can just clean that up using an eraser. When you're using these chalky type of pencils it's important to use a fixative that way they don't smudge but before spraying it make sure you get rid of all the smudge marks with an eraser once it's completely dry you can then go over your lines with a gel pen and that just defines the lines a little bit more When I do my background pattern with gold I wouldn't use a ruler because it will smudge very easily. The gold gel pens are quite wet. If you prefer to use a ruler do it with pencil and then go over it with gold afterwards. The gold gel pen gives it a very art deco-y kind of a pattern and even though my lines are a little bit wonky they're not too bad in comparison to the ones where I used a, a ruler. So there you have the three cards. You can see in the yellow one I went back over the petals and with the black and I think I might do that in the red one as well. So there it is, looks a little bit better. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel do that so that you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you for watching and until next week stay safe and bye for now. To see more of my videos head over to my YouTube channel or there are a couple of links here on the screen and down there that's the subscribe button.